So we're involved in a host of different studies to better understand the clinical applicability of plasma-based testing. Right now, plasma testing is FDA approved when tissue is not um, obtainable, um, unsafe, or if tissue is inadequate for testing. Um, we should keep several pearls in mind. So one is, is that if one gets a plasma test back that is negative, really reflexing to tissue and making sure that the tissue um, has been adequately addressed for assessment is, is important. Largely because plasma testing can be negative in cases, um, and that may be defined by tumor burden, patients actually who have more uh, defined and constrained tumor burdens may have less detectability of plasma-based testing. Certain sanctuary sites, such as the brain or bone, may also limit plasma-based testing. We're involved in a number of research projects to understand both the detectability of plasma, as well as the dynamic changes of, plas um, of circulating tumor DNA in plasma through time on therapy. Much of what we believe we'll be able to understand is how the evolution of cancer evolves um, and how <clears throat> through time resistance can be identified early and uh, further work will be addressing how one can intervene or better understand um, how to intervene and what metrics to look at um, when resistance mutations can be identified.